Welcome back ladies and gents. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Daniel. And for those of you who do know me, I'm still Daniel. Thanks for checking it out. Today we're talking about Brandon Wolfel's photography. How he shoots, what he does with his camera settings, props, and how to edit the way he does. So let's do this. Okay, so I'm sure you've seen his work all over the internet, on Instagram, YouTube and stuff. Brandon Wolfel. His photography is very recognizable and it's actually really easy to do. So I'll teach you guys how to do it. But honestly, I kind of have an issue with it because you should be going out there and trying to get your own style, your own technique. Since I started this YouTube channel, a bunch of people have reached out to me to do something about, you know, how do you do his technique or how does he edit photos, how does he take pictures. So I'll show you guys, but like I said, you should be focusing on your own technique. It's cool to like go out there and practice this kind of stuff because you're learning and there's a, a technique to it, but definitely work on developing your own style, that's most important. Let's get started with how he shoots. So the first thing you want to do is shoot at a really low f-stop, like f2.8 or lower because that's what he uses to get a very blurry frame but a tight focus on the actual model themselves. And another thing he does really, really well that makes your shots look really cool is using props, stuff like fairy lights or prisms or you know glasses, sparklers, anything that's going to give you that nice bokeh in the foreground or the background because it's out of focus because of that really low f-stop. So that's tip number one, shoot like that. Tip number two, and this one's pretty straightforward, have your model fill the frame. The focus of the picture is always gonna be on the model themselves and you don't wanna get too distracted with stuff that might be in the background or crap like that. Just have your model fill out the frame. When it comes to shooting, that's essentially all he does. It's very simple. There's no crazy camera techniques. There's no fancy effects or filters and stuff like that. Just shoot very simple and use those props and you'll have a pretty solid foundation to work with. To finish up his style, we're gonna move into Photoshop, so let's do that now. All right, uh, once you're happy with your photos, you're gonna go ahead and open them in Photoshop. One thing I didn't mention about his style is that he actually shoots underexposed and then brings the details out of the dark areas as opposed to overexposing and having blown out highlights. So this is our image. Uh, if you're shooting raw, your images are gonna come up in the camera raw um, pop-up window. If they don't come up from that pop-up window, if you're shooting JPEG, you can just go down from the filter menu, click camera raw filter, and then open that up. And it gives you some sliders on the, the right side here to play around with. So you can bump up the exposure, maybe bring down the contrast a little bit. His, his style isn't very contrasty. Some of the highlights up, shadows up a bit, and then just crush those blacks. Um, you can cool down the, the, the feel or, you know, um, warm it up depending on the image itself or, you know, play around with it, have fun with it. Um, increase the clarity just a bit and a little bit of saturation. So here's where the majority of his editing style comes in. It's on the right side here, the hue and saturation panel. So you can just click that, click the little hand that pops up here and you can drag your warm areas to make them you know, more saturated, more desaturated, as well as if you hold down Command or Control on a PC, you can change the hue so you can change it to whatever color. Normally, what Brandon Wolfel does is he'll, he'll make his yellows a little bit more orange, so you can drag the yellow sections of it and make it a little bit more orange, and like his greens will be more to a teal, so we'll do the oranges there. So that's what our oranges look like after we've edited them. And then we'll open up another hue saturation layer and we'll use the hand again to select our greens and drag them more to a 
bluish teal. And then you can mess around with the sliders to brighten them up, lighten it, mess with the saturation. Get your, your greens, drag them more to like a cyan. Even your cyans, you can make them more blue. So once you've slid them around and found what you like best, you might get something like that. Uh, another thing you can do is select the warm tones that you want for like your skin colors and then on a separate layer do your greens and, and teals and then what you're going to do is mask off any of the areas that you don't want to be cyan. So Just brush around her nose area and her face because we want her actual face to stay very warm and um, optionally afterwards you can mess around with the curves just make it a little bit brighter or darker and another little neat trick that he will do as well is he will add in additional bokeh on top so there you go you can you know just find a bokeh image on Google Images and uh, drag and drop it into your Photoshop rearrange it the way you want it and so the one that I found actually had a black background on it so what I did was I set it to screen the black goes away and it sort of matches the rest of the image you can then go to the top and go to image adjustments hue saturation and just sort of slide the slider along so that your bokeh that you added in has the same color value as the one that you've been working with and that's about it there there you have it it's pretty simple um, in terms of editing afterwards in Photoshop. There you have it ladies and gents, that's how Brandon Wolfel edits his photos. Honestly, use what you learned to sort of build off of that and develop your own style. Don't copy it to the T because he's already famous for that. You're not going to get famous for copying his <laughs> Anyway guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, even drop a few comments down below and let me know what you think and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!